Hello and welcome back to another episode of Farming Life with Laforge. For those of you who are new here, my name is Laura and this channel is all about our farming lives here in France. So Dad is going to bring you over to the second farm. Um, so he's going to show you the first calves that have been born this year. And then after that, he's back here in his workshop. So if you haven't already seen the previous videos, um, so Dad is making a blower. So it's here behind me. It is the machine on the back of the 7000. Um, so he's making a blower for the cattle for spring, cattle for lice. Um, so he's making it completely from scrap. So just... Stuff that we had lying around the farm and a lot of scrap metal, um, so between the two firms. And yeah, so if you haven't seen the first video, I will leave a link down in the description. You can go back and watch that to see the beginning of it being made, or you can just follow on through here. He will have that coming up right after the cattle. So then next week's video, I will be showing you around our cattle sheds. So the cattle sheds here on the main farm and showing you the setup that we have in there. And they're currently full of cattle, so you'll see them as well. And we have a footage of wailings that was taken before the Christmas that I didn't get up. So we weighed the wailings and we sold them. Um, so I get to see how that was done. So how we're selling the cattle over here in France if you didn't see it in episode 4. And yeah, so I'll show you guys that footage that I didn't get up in this video. Um, I'll put it up in the next one. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on that, you can hit that subscribe button below and ring the bell notification. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Okay, here we are in the solar panel shed. Cow over there with twins. I'll get in there closer. Another cow there. There's the cow the cat. So, there's a Belgian blue cat or somewhere. Oh, there he is. There he is. So, next week now we'll be changing the limousine bulls, switching them all around. And then we'll put in the switch over Belgian blue bulls to clean up uh, as well as that where we had the young bulls just in case this we're not 100% sure of them we'll put in a change of an older bull there in case this he wasn't working with it's too chancy to leave it all for a young bull in case he doesn't work there she is with twin sucking her. No bother. Our fourth set of twins this year. There's good calf cow. 7810. Shirley cow. And wouldn't you know, it belongs to Laura. Big bull calf. Okay, back to me square, or me blower, <coughs> the talk louder, blower for the cattle, for lice and ticks, and hopefully it works, uh, you've seen so far what I've been at, so now I'm making up the pipe, to go on the side, so I've made up a kind of a, a jig, there, and there'll be a flexible piece of pipe in here in the middle, so it'll be hingeable. So when we're going up and down the yard or up and down the sheds, that's going to be getting caught. And uh, so I'll turn off the camera now for a few minutes because the starch lying and 
Lord, the Fred, the Samuel, the Gethsemane, the Spirit. Okay, back again. I have the pipe on. Just tacked up. Hopefully it'll swing in and out. And fold up. When I'm not using it. I'm hoping to put this little ram on it here. Like this. And, uh, well, pipe it up as well. And hopefully, uh, I kind of have it face down a bit when it falls over. So that's not sticking up in the air. And probably want to brace that there the little way I put a, a brace up to that from the frame and that should make it nice and strong and hopefully it works and it should <laughs> here just to have different adjustment on the ram. So I have to tidy up these corners now and finish off the welding and uh, put it on and there's a support to go up to support it.
okay to have it on. Let's throw them out in the kettle. That's going back. The two pipes and the two red pins. Quarter to ten. Time to knock it off. Look at the cows. We're going to bed. And uh, <coughs> yeah, that should work. That's the run. I just put a support there. Maybe put another one yet on. I don't know. So all that's left is pipe up. Pipe up the ramp and the electrics. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, put the put the bit of mesh on the in case that hasn't sucked in there. And then try it out before I put the finishing touches. I have to put uh, spacers in there to keep that centered. There's an old mower in the other farm. Uh, there might be pipes on it. I'm not going to buy new pipes for it. So uh, that should pull it well in out of the way now. So when I'm going, the whole idea is because I have to go over to the other farm as well. And I don't want to be taking it off the tractor to have to bring it over there. So. I can just fold it up now like that and I have the back of the sprayer to go on here yet. There it is there. I'm going to put that back on so it will be just on it so it won't get lost or damaged. And even if I want to spray the yard in the summer, uh, this will do even though I have a sprayer made up for doing that. So that's it. I'm going to call it a night. One more. Evening should finish it and then try it out and hopefully it works. Maybe I should have tried it out. So, uh, oh yeah, that's the other thing. I used a different pipe this time than last night, so I have to bore 
No holes here for the for the pipe. So not a big job. And uh, fire it up. Well, I had it spinning without the spray through it, and there is a good blow off it, so I can can see why it doesn't work. Now, whether I have to make this smaller or not, I don't know. I'll have to try that when I get it go. A big job, but it's something across it if I have to squeeze it tighter. And uh, no, I'm happy enough. It's all made out of scrap. So it's not, uh, didn't accept the first battalion. Okay. Okay. So I have the ram on and the pipe finished. So I put back on the back of the square. So it will be kind of a general purpose. And I reinforced the spout out of it. So the next job now is to try it out. There's a few more little bits to do before I get carried away. And just try it out and see how it works. But uh, I'm hopeful. So the shoe falls back and forth. and put the little guard over that.